Welcome boaters. This is an introduction to the Digital Select Calling and Rescue 21 system coming to the 14th Coast Guard District. The old system was called the National Distress System and it was set up to cover three areas. The NDS system contains certain operating equipment as discussed on this slide. The system being replaced typically had a control center connected to a series of high sites with antennas around the islands. Unfortunately, many boating accidents pointed up the shortcomings of this old system. The antiquated NDS system failed to meet the challenges of the 21st century. It was outdated and expensive. Rescue 21 was the Coast Guard's answer to these shortcomings. Rescue 21 adds capabilities which allows us to save lives. If you're a new boater or if you've been boating for years, you've probably noticed how many new features are available among today's marine radios. It can be overwhelming and far too complicated, but there's one feature that strives to be as simple as possible, and it's called Digital Selective Calling, or DSC. Now today, we're gonna to go over the proper use of a DSC radio and see how this feature could help save your life by taking the search out of search and rescue. First, what is Digital Selective Calling, and what are its benefits? DSC is a digital transfer between radios as opposed to traditional voice only radios. Now this service allows mariners to instantly send an automatically formatted distress alert to the Coast Guard. The Rescue 21 system, currently being deployed in stages across the country, allows the Coast Guard to receive these digital transmissions. So why is it necessary to use the DSC technology? Well in case of emergency, when you press the distress button, DSC will relay vital information to the Coast Guard. Information like the name and description of your boat, your location, if you've got your radio connected to a GPS, the date and time of distress, emergency contact information, and even the nature of distress, if you have entered it. Now this reduces the period of time it takes the Coast Guard to reach you. It's simple to use. Even a first time guest in your boat can signal for help should a crisis occur. Now here is how DSC works. Let's say you're out in the water for a relaxing day of sightseeing when an emergency occurs. It could be a fire, man overboard, or a medical emergency. You need assistance and you need it fast. In order to summon help, turn to your DSC radio. On the front of the radio, you'll see a distress button. Press the button. That's where Digital Selective Calling and Rescue 21 take over. Once you press the distress button, your radio sends a digital signal over channel 70 to the Coast Guard as well as to the other boats within range that have DSC radios. Your radio will continue to send this distress call until someone acknowledges it. The message is fast, only one third of a second, and it's accurate, complete, and automatically recorded. When a uh, boater pushes the distress button on their uh, DSC equipped radio, it'll send us basically a text message into our command center via our Rescue 21 communication system. Um, it'll actually pop up an alert on there letting us know that there's new uh, digital uh, selective calling distress that came in. Now if the vessels register their MMSI number and it's uh, hooked into their GPS system, it'll tell us that there's a distress, the latitude, longitude position of that boater, as well as give us their MMSI number. With that, we will go into our databases, um, search for that MMSI number, which will give us the characteristics of the boat. It will give us the uh, registered owner, as well as his contact numbers and addresses, and then we can uh, begin executing a search and rescue case. Once the Coast Guard's gotten your message, 
the watch stander will acknowledge it and your radio will automatically switch to channel 16 so that you can talk with the Coast Guard. In addition, other vessels in the area will know that you are in a crisis and will know your location, MMSI, date and time of distress. So, Rescue 21 works and it works fast, but in order for the system to function properly, it's vital that your DSC is set up correctly. It must be connected to your GPS using a simple one or two wire connection. Check your radio and GPS manuals for exact directions. And you must have an MMSI number. Getting that MMSI number is easy. Just go to this website, www.boatus.com slash MMSI and fill in the required information about you and your boat. In just a couple of minutes, you'll be assigned a nine digit MMSI number. Now, just enter that number into your DSC radio and you're ready to go. Consider it caller ID for your boat. That's all there is to it. Three easy steps. Connect your DSC radio to your GPS, get an MMSI number, and enter that MMSI number into your radio. And you may have just saved your own life. Digital select calling and MMSIs augment the Rescue 21 system on shore. Here we have the front panel of a typical digital select calling radio. Note the one touch distress button. The MMSI system does require you, the boater, to register your equipment. In addition to the radio equipment on board boats, the Coast Guard stations and sectors are now equipped with additional specialized equipment. DSC radios, when equipped with an MMSI, take the search out of search and rescue. The Coast Guard's Homeland Security missions are also enhanced by this Rescue 21 system. This visual depiction shows how the whole system is linked together to provide better service to boaters in distress. For further information on this, talk to your marine dealer or your local Coast Guard Auxiliary Unit. Thank you for your attention.